I'm gonna do my makeup and share some of the products that I've been loving recently. You can find links to everything below the video, but this Kosas Dream Beam has been such a great find for me. I love it on its own, but I also love it under makeup. So I just put a few dots on and then rub it in. For foundation, I'm using my Holy Grail Armani Luminous Silk in 5.25. This is such a good summer color for me. It would be too dark in the winter. And I usually bump down to, I think five. Um, but 5.25 is perfect for me in the summer. I'm using a brush in small circles just to blend this in as well. Don't forget to go down your neck. This is a Natasha Denona concealer in shade N4. And while I still love NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, I might like this one more. I just gotta be honest with you. Both are great. You don't need to go out, you don't need to throw away NARS Creamy Concealer, okay? Don't, don't go crazy. But if you're in the market for something new, I have really loved the coverage and finish of this one from Natasha Denona. And the part I never skip, a little Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for under eyes to set that concealer right after I blend it in. This is a game changer. If I skip this step right here, the powdering, I use a brush, I use a velour puff, whatever I'm in the mood for. If I skip that step, my concealer will, will crease. It doesn't matter what brand I'm using, it will crease. So if you have that problem, this little guy, buy three when you're shopping so you never run out of it. It's that essential for me. My eyeshadow is Laura Mercier All Natural. If you have blue eyes and you haven't tried this color yet, you have to try it. You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed at what it does to the blue in your eye color. Every time I wear this cream eyeshadow stick, I get a DM saying, well, what, what did you do with your eyes today? This color just does something to the blue. It's amazing. I also like to pull a little bit of the same color on my lower lash line just barely there to help round out my eyes a little. I'm gonna fill in my brows while that cream eyeshadow sets a bit before I add some powder to the crease. And the brow pencil I'm using is Brow Wiz. It's this tiny little tip. And I've been using shade Soft Brown, which I really like for the summertime. It's a little bit darker, but I feel like I can pull it off in the summer because my skin's a little darker, you know what I mean? I've collected a bunch of single eyeshadows and put them in this palette so I can have them all together. I'm gonna use a warmer brown Warmer than the All Natural shade I put on my lid and just lightly buff it into the crease. I'm not going for a super dramatic eye, but I want some depth and some definition and I like adding a little bit of warmth to a more neutral. I think they describe this color as like pink gray and I typically steer clear of pinks, but this shade for some reason works for me. But see how nice it gets when you add a little bit of warmth to it? I could put this all over the lid if I wanted to, but I just want the depth of the crease and I want the lightness on the round part of my lid. That's another way to kind of make your eyes look a bit rounder. If your eyes are a bit hooded, make sure you're not raising your eyebrow the entire time you're putting your crease color on and you let your eyes fall a bit and you make sure you can see that color through when your eyes are just in a regular state. So I'm not raising my eyebrows and just bringing a little bit more of that brown on the part of my lid up here that kind of folds over my eye. The Chanel Eye Contour in shade 12 is the most forgiving and easy to use eyeliner if you just want a hint of definition on your lash line. I don't really like a strong, dark line of liner anymore up here. I'm sure this will change as trends change, but I like just a little bit of shadow and I'd rather go a little more with mascara than relying on a line of eyeliner to define my eyes. But this shade, number 12 in the Chanel Eye Contour Stick, is not all that much darker than on Natural. You can barely see it, but it does add to me a little bit of a shadow. And then I like to bring it right here because it just looks like a shadow and we're not doing a heavy line. And then I'll use my ring finger and just soften it a bit. I did get some new eyeliners from Laura Mercier. This shade is bronze. So we'll put a touch of this here for a little more definition. This has a bit of shimmer. I love the look of a matte eye with a shimmery eyeliner. I just feel like it's a fun, a little bit of a fun surprise and it reflects the light still so it doesn't feel 
heavy, like it can drag your eye down. To me, bad eyeliner is so hard to fix. So I always veer on the lighter, more subtle, more shadowy look for a liner instead of like black across the top. I used to do that a ton, but for me, I like this kind of softer look. The mascara combo I can't quit is Lancome Lashy Doll followed by Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. So I do one coat of Lancome Lashy Doll to just lift and define and get one clump free coat of mascara on my upper lashes. And then I'll go through and build volume with Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. The only mascara I do on my lower lashes is Clinique's bottom lash, look at this tiny brush. Darn it, I got a little mascara on my eyelid. Can you see that there? If this happens to you during your makeup, don't touch it, don't touch it. You will not be able to wipe it away with ease. Keep your hands off of it, finish everything else, let it dry for as long as possible, and then take a little spoolie, totally dry, and you'll be able to just scratch it off. I'll show you. I'm not gonna touch it. You're gonna have to look past it while I finish the rest of my makeup, but let it dry and you'll be able to flake it right off. We're gonna do some of the Charlotte Tilbury um, contour powder. I like this because it's not too gray. It's cooler than a warm bronzer I have, but it adds a little, little bit of contour. You can see I'm not perfect. And I'm using a fluffy brush because mm, I don't really fuss with contour too much. The bronzer I've been loving is by Kosas. This shade is Waves, and I'm just dramatic with it. It's so beautiful on the skin. So I've got my biggest, fluffiest brush here. I'm focusing on the cheeks. I'm gonna bring a little bit of it to my forehead and then blend it down to the neck. I do have some self-tan on down here, so I wanna make sure this all makes sense. For blush, I'm grabbing the Wander Beauty On The Glow Blush Stick. This is the Coral Rose shade. It's something a little deeper than my typical more petal pink because I feel like this blends in nicely with a bit of bronzer. This is like a coral rose shade, which is really pretty. And I'm going to add a bit of highlighter. These, I've had these for a while and they stay so creamy. I don't know if you're able to tell. I'm just going to dot a little highlighter. It's on the other end of this stick, just on the top of my cheekbones here. I heard Andrea, if you don't follow her here on YouTube, you need to. I heard her describe highlighter as jewelry for the face. And I thought that's such a perfect description for it. When I don't wear it, I feel fine. But when I do wear it, I feel like, oh, that's just a little bit of extra. So let's do some lips. I got a matte shade of the uh, Armani Lip Power. This is shade 114. So I've worn this a few times. And I feel like at first it looks a bit chalky. It's a matte finish, which kind of makes your lips look fuller. That's a little trick. But once it like settles, even after five minutes, I notice a difference. Like I watch it transform. It's not supposed to do that, but I feel like this looks a little chalky and stark, but I like when it settles in, if that makes any sense. Okay, this has been drying for a bit. Let's try and scratch it off. I'm gonna pull the skin taut. Oh, I told you, I told you. Now I'm just gonna go in with whatever's left on the crease brush I used earlier and just soften that area and we are good to go. If that doesn't prove to you that you gotta let it dry before you scratch it off, I don't know what else will. And if you're looking for hair tutorials, demos, lighter makeup options, like a day in the sun makeup for me, you can find those on Reels on Instagram. I am K8 underscore small things. If you're not following over there, please go follow because there are a ton of videos in my Reels section there.